products serves as most important and most uh, uh, the voluminous uh, products that we sell outside in the country. Five, establishment of oil-related industry. There are so many other oil-related industries that have been established in the country and those ones too have, in one way or the other, reduced the level of unemployment in the country and boost the economy in Nigeria. Six, improvement of standard of living. Due to the provision of infrastructural facilities by the federal government from the earnings from petroleum products, it has really improved the standard of living of the citizens in Nigeria. And seven, major source of energy, it serves as major source of energy like petrol, used for, uh, uh, for use for cars and some other uh, machines, then diesel, kerosene, and so on like that. So, so many other sources of energy can be gotten from a uh, petroleum industry. These are some of the uh, major contributions of the petroleum industry to Nigeria economy. But it is not without its own negative uh, contributions. There are some other negative factors that can be attributed to the emergence of the petroleum uh, products in Nigeria. One, environmental pollution. In those areas, especially in the Niger Delta, where this, most of these uh, products are being uh, 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 produced, it has caused so many environmental pollution. In some environments, their waters have been polluted that they cannot uh, uh, drink the water in their uh, environment, in the local areas, except they will have to get bottles or some other source of water from the far distance places. And also, they can fish and it has also destroyed so many other lands that are no more good for agricultural purposes. Therefore, environmental pollution is one of the major negative contributions of petroleum to the Nigeria uh, economy. Two, increased in social prices. The, 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 especially in the Niger Delta areas, like the militant and some other uh, uh, social prices that are really there, is as a result of the emergence of this petroleum in the economy. Also, we have development of mono economy. Before the advent of the petroleum in Nigeria, there are so many other agricultural products and other products that make the economy to keep growing that Nigeria relies so much on, like cocoa, like cotton, like granules, like uh, palm kernel, and so many other ones that have been raining in the country. But immediately there, there, uh, immediately there was a madness of the petroleum, then all other ones were abandoned, and we now rely solely on uh, petroleum production and deny those ones and abandon the other agricultural production, which has made Nigeria to become a mono-economy uh, uh, nation, whereby it's only one product that we rely so much on, produ on, on in producing and selling to other countries. That one too is not good enough for a particular country to survive. Why? Because when that production of petroleum have one difficulty or the other, it will crash the economy because other production are no more surviving. It's only that one that we are depending on that has been crashed. Therefore, the economy can crash. So, yeah, so it is a kind of negative uh, contribution to the economy. Four, neglect of agriculture and other sectors. Like I said, when the uh, petroleum came, then other agricultural and related sectors have been abandoned because we get a lot of money from the production of petroleum. Five, it leads to rural urban migration because in rural areas, especially in those areas like Niger Delta, where there are so many uh, uh, other environmental pollution and it has led to so many negative effects in their society, people are tend to move to the urban centers where they can find something reasonable to do so that they will be able to sustain and keep on living. It has led to increase in rural urban migration and neglect the rural areas with so many resources that are there because also the agricultural sectors are really depending on the rural areas for their production and since there has been neglect in the agricultural sector therefore the able-bodied men and, uh, uh, and vibrant youth have no choice than to leave the agriculture and go to the city where they can find 
white collar jobs instead of agriculture. And that one is also affecting the economy in one area or the other, especially in the area of food production, which can lead to scarcity of food. What are the other minerals? Other mineral resources that we have in Nigeria, but most of them are no more functioning because of the uh, petroleum production. But before the advent of petroleum production, those other mineral resources are very important and we are really using them as a source of income, especially foreign exchange earnings. One, we have coal. Coal is a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock minerals found in Enugu and Okaba in Benue State. That one is there. We have them there, but they are no more being explored because of the advent of the petroleum production. Two, we have iron hull. Iron hull is a basement complex rock. It's a basement complex rock mineral found in Itaku in Kogi State. That is another uh, mineral resources we have in Nigeria. We also have tin and columbite. Columbite are basement complex rock minerals found near Jos in Plateau State. It's another very important and, uh, and, and economic, uh, uh, economic materials, mineral resources that can fetch the country so many sources of income, but in one way or the other, it has been abandoned and left for the petroleum production. We also have limestone. It's a sedimentary rock mineral found in Ewekoro and Shagamu in Ogo State, Okipila in Edo State, Calabar in Rikosh River State, Galagun in Anabra State, Benue State, and in Sokoto State. These are so many other states where we can find limestone. But because of the advent of the mineral, I mean, pro, uh, petroleum production, we are neglected those ones. It is an essential raw material for the manufacture, uh, to manufacture uh, cement, but we left them unassessed, unemployed, uh, explored because of petroleum. And also, we have the last one we will call lead and sink, which are sedimentary rock minerals found in Abakaliki in Boy State. But that one too has been neglected in the, uh, for the sake of the petroleum production. All this, if they are still being explored and being and not neglected, and the production in those areas are, of the mineral resources are still functioning very well, just like the petroleum uh, uh, industry is functioning, then it will make the country much more better instead of relying solely on the uh, petroleum production. That is, those are the other minerals that we have in the country. What are the role? The role of Nigerian National Petroleum Company that we refer to as NNPC. One, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company was established in 1977. As Elias said, it was assigned the responsibility for the exploration, production, and refining of petroleum, as well as the distribution and foreign marketing of crude oil and petroleum products. The following are the major roles that uh, NNPC are to perform. One, it serves as regulatory function. It performs regulatory function, regulating the production of the uh, petroleum. Two, exploration of oil, uh, uh, crude oil. And three, petroleum production for the use of the masses. Four, for petroleum refining. They are given the responsibility to refine the crude oil to, for uh, to our final consumers and also oil transportation to make sure that it, send, it, it, I mean, it then disseminates the, the products, the final product, to all parts of the country so that it will be available to every human being in this, in, this, in, this, in this nation. And also marketing of petroleum products into the local, local, for market, local marketing and international marketing. They are also taking the responsibility. Then we have another one, oil policy implementation, that they must ensure that the policy that has been made on oil production are properly implemented. And the last one is employment. They are also serve, they also perform the function of uh, creating employment in the country. Then let's look at some of the other roles of organization of petroleum exporting countries that we refer to as OPEC. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, called OPEC, was formed, as earlier said, in 1960 in Baghdad, in Iraq, by five main exporting countries, such as Iraq, Iran, 
Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. Other eight countries joined later, such as Qatar, Qatar in 1961, Indonesia in 1962, Libya in 1962, Algeria in 1969, Nigeria in 1971, United Arab Emirates in 1973, Gabon in 1973, and Ecuador in 1973. The organization Secretariat is in uh, Vienna in Austria. What are the objectives of this organization called OPEC, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries? One is to maintain stability of oil price at the international market. Two is to ensure steady supply of oil to other, I mean to the market. Three, to encourage the exploration and development of petroleum resources. And four, for stabilization of oil income. Also, for coordination of petroleum policy. And number six, for allocation of production quota. And lastly, to increase its control over the oil industry. Those are the uh, functions, I mean the objectives of uh, organization of petroleum exporting countries. Let's look at the following questions under the petroleum and Nigerian uh, economy. One, the headquarters of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, called OPEC, is Dash A. Paris in France, B. Vienna in Australia, C. London in England, D. New York in USA, the United States of America. Number two, which of the following is not done by the NNPC? Which of the following is not a function of the NNPC? A production of crude oil, B, refining of crude oil, C, exploration of crude oil, 